I've been really on my own when I think about it Yeah, my house is not a home when I think about it I've been feeling so alone when I think about it Yeah, nobody really got me when I think about it I'm really on my own when I think about it What is good, YouTube fam? It's your boy Simon coming back here again with another reaction video for you guys today For today's reaction video, we got this TikTok chef is insane Let's jump up in it So now we're gonna take our steak Place it. Okay. I don't need to see no more, bro. I don't need to see no more. This is how we started the video off. We not even fucking ten seconds in. We're five seconds in. Why are you putting it on an iron? Why? What? Place it. Bro, 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 bro. I get it. I get it. Like, to a certain extent, you using other, you know, things. If you ain't got the necessary tools to make food, I get it. You know, we used to, you know, fucking use the oven to heat up the whole house because we didn't have, like, you know, good heat and things like that. So I, I get it if you're in a predicament. But my man, it looked like you in a perfectly well house. You putting steaks on on Bro, I just I can't like I can't. What is that? What? Oh. oh. Oh, now look at that. British TikTok cooking. What many agree to be the three most terrifying words a human can possibly string together. If you happen to be unfamiliar with why that might be, well, today your life is about to be changed forever and, uh, not for the better. You see, the other day I got a DM on Instagram from a fellow named David telling me about a guy whose food is, quote, genuinely insane. So naturally, being a guy who loves insane food, I went and checked it out and I was introduced to the TikTok TikToker Jimmy Stewart 59 and uh, David you were you were not exaggerating pal the TikToks we're about to watch today genuinely contain some of the most insane unironic cooking I have ever seen I really don't think this is a joke I think this is actually how this guy cooks day to day and uh, just in a general sense of considering safety I don't think that's a good thing okay the best way I I just keep looking at this man's shirt like did you time travel to the 90s and get that? Like, how did you... Like, I remember seeing those on Jeff Hardy. Like, wh why are you wearing that? Like, it's... Brother. 2023. Like, like, go get a full shirt. Like, you got fishnets covering your nipples. Like, what, what is this? I can describe, Jimmy, is if Case Cooking and Jack Scalfani combined all of their cooking skills and sent them to a man who has no regard for personal safety. That is what we're dealing with here, people. So get ready. Let's begin. Please subscribe. Morning. I'm no long him and I'm feeling a bit rough, so I'm going to have a hangover breakfast. A wee omelette consists of onions, peppers, mushrooms, and cheese. I would be making my famous Buckfast Latte, but I've no milk, so Buckfast straight I'll just have to do. Alright, so I didn't know what Buckfast was, so I looked it up, and apparently it's caffeinated wine, and this guy is normally drinking a Buckfast latte. Now look, I'm not a drinker, so maybe, maybe I'm out of line here, but I feel like wine and milk are probably not meant to go yeah, together, Yeah, not right? at all. Now you might be thinking, okay, this omelette seems relatively normal, those are not like crazy ingredients, in fact, they're the opposite, they're, they're quite standard. Yeah, just wait. And first of all, we'll get a Nova Butter. Right, we'll get that into a bag. Anybody getting some deja vu? Yep, we've seen the infamous omelette bag before. Jack has done that to us. Would you believe me if I told you it's about to get worse? Because you should. Now we'll get the rest in the bag. Wait, what? Now we'll get the cheese and that in, get the eggs in there. Oh, nearly, nearly. 
You know, sometimes I really sit here and I'm kind of taken aback about what I do for a living. I'm sitting here on a Tuesday afternoon talking about, I don't know, a 50, 60 year old man who lives across the world from me, cooking an omelet in a bag in a full like biker setup, but not like a real biker setup, like a Halloween costume biker setup. Like he definitely would be kicked out of a biker bar if he walked in looking like this. Drinking, or at least wanting to be drinking a wine latte. I've got the best job in the world. Now we'll add some salt and pepper. Now, once you've gave that a good mix up, boil a kettle. So while that's cooking... I know on paper that this is just another vessel to boil water in, but for some reason, the use of an electric kettle makes this feel much less safe than just boiling your omelet bag in a pot. I mean, like, this is one step away from making an omelet in, like, a coffee maker. This has got to be statistically more dangerous than just cooking it in a pot, right? I was thinking the same thing. Drink. That should be ready. Let's get a go. Oh. Ah, yeah, fuck it. Oh. Oh. Oh, now look at that. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is that? Why does it have freckles? Why has it developed skin? Oh my god. Jimmy, I am begging you, please do not eat that. How can you look like... Bro, how can you look at that? And be like, oh yeah, this looks great. This looks so good. Have mercy on your soul because, sir, sir. Look at it! Look at it! You know, i never seen a dinosaur egg, like a real dinosaur egg, but like, that's how I, I would think it looks like. Like, that's literally what I think a dinosaur egg looks like. Like, you ever seen the, uh, the little dinosaur egg candies? It looked like that! Like, it looked like that! Like, the shell? It looked like that! Come on, bro. <laughs> What in the? Come on, bro. Mm. Oh. Amazing. I feel genuinely ill, and I'm not even the one eating the egg. This is horrible. We're not even halfway done. I'm back again with some cost of loving and energy save. Bro, you gotta get a new shirt, bro. You got a smiley face on your. Ah, uh, come on, bro. He got a smiley face on his stomach right now. Get a sh bro, put on a full shirt, please. Please. Please, let's, let's just start there. We'll talk about everything else later. Let's just start there. Put on a full shirt, bro. You running around like the Hardy Boys, like, you like 60, G. Like, give it up. Give it up. Nobody want to see this. Even tips. I'm going to be keeping it simple tonight because I've not had time to go to the supermarket. First of all, we've got a scotch pie, a bit of haggis, cheese, jalapenos, and some H.P. Brown sauce. All right, so I'm not from the land down over, so I don't know what H.P. Brown sauce tastes like, but I've been told it tastes like A1, which is like, okay, fine, but I don't know if that really mends well with the taste of jalapenos. Um, haggis, if you don't know, is, is literally just sheep organs. So we're dealing with a scotch pie, which I think is just like a meat pie, a brown sauce of sorts, jalapenos, and sheep innards. Mm, mm, mm. So first of all, we'll get a scotch pie. There you go. Then top that with a couple of jalapeno peppers. There we go. Top that off 
with some grated cheese. All right, so if we just stopped right here, not gonna lie, I'd probably mess that up. I mean, a meat pie with jalapenos and cheese, I mean, where can you really go wrong? You're essentially just eating a burrito at that point. As long as they're not pickled jalapenos, I'm sorry, but if you like pickled jalapenos, you're wrong. If you wanna eat a bell pepper, just go eat a bell pepper, okay? Do I have a small hatred for pickled jalapenos? Maybe, is it coming through? Now we're gonna seal all that in before haggis. Now that we've got that sealed, I would usually wrap it up in tin foil, but I've not got any, so greaseproof paper is going to have to do the trick. Alright, so like, I don't know what haggis tastes like. The thought of eating sheep intestines and hearts and stuff, I mean, not not exactly my favorite. Right. But I mean, a lot of people eat it, so maybe there's something there. Maybe this won't be too bad. I don't know. Like, as long as haggis is good, I, I think it'd be kind of hard to mess this up. We're going to be placing it in the kettle. Alrighty, I immediately retract my previous sentiment. I was, I was not aware this was going in the kettle too. I thought this might be microwaved or something. I don't know, put in a pan, maybe. Um, anytime we start boiling meat, I, I start to get worried. There are many uses of boiling meat in cooking, but, um, I don't think this is a good one. Now, we'll give that roll a wee crisp up. What the f- <laughs> Right, let's get this plated. Wow. Okay, um, alright. I did some research, um, on the electric consumption of toasters and irons, and it seems like they're pretty even, if not the iron being a little more energy consuming. Jimmy, I've really got to imagine that we're not really saving any money here by using an iron over, like, an $11 toaster from Walmart. Plus, I mean, again, at the end of the day, they are both just sources of hot surfaces, but I feel like a toaster has got to be more food safe yeah. than an iron. And using the iron is just weird. Like what? Like it's just weird. Like it's it's just naturally un. It's it's not normal, bro. It is not normal. Like if I went to someone's house and they're like, "Hey, bro, you want some toast?" I'd be like, "Yeah, I bet." Like where your toast is at? You know, like oh no, we ain't got no toaster. We just put the iron on it. You feel me? Get that toasted up. I'd be like, "Nigga, say what? Run that by me again?" Yeah, we just gonna put the iron on it, you know, heat it up. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. And I'm never coming back. We probably, that probably be the end of our friendship. You don't offer me something like that, bro. That's crazy to me. Like, you can cook it on the stove. That's how I cook my toast. Put a little butter, get a little pan, put the, put the, put the bread on the pan. Toast. What? Like, what? Bro, that's so crazy. That is wild. There you go, look at that. Cost of living and energy crisis. Not in this kitchen. There may not be an energy crisis in your kitchen, Jimmy, but um, there is there is definitely a form of crisis, okay? Can't really trade one for another and call it a good idea. So tonight we're going to be making fur coat with a necker steak. Anybody want to translate that? I'd appreciate it. Couple of tatties, peppercorn sauce, washed down with a fine wine. So we get our steak. Get a wee bit of butter. A bit of pepper. Jimmy, you didn't even do the salt bay thing with salt. There was one objective. So now we're going to take our steak and place it so while that's cooking, we'll get the sauce, 
and the potatoes on the go. Hey, Jimmy, uh, cooking is is a real generous term in this situation. What do you guys think the chances are that this iron got cleaned between this video and the last one we watched? I'm gonna say it's almost I was zero. Just the worst that. part is, is that this video was uploaded first, so there is definitely raw steak bacteria all over that haggis sandwich. But at this point, I don't think there's anything Jimmy's immune system hasn't seen, so uh, probably just another Thursday. All right, so for the remainder of the video, I guess he didn't feel like doing a voiceover because there's just copyrighted music now until the end of the video, so uh, looks like we're going to be talking about this live. Wow. Okay. No way that steak's actually going to end up being cooked. Let's just see. Do we get a sneak? No, we don't get a sneak peek, but he is putting yeah, gold, of gold on it. Okay. Can't use a toaster because that's going to cost too much energy-wise, but we can... We can cover a steak in gold. Okay, sure. Oh, the potatoes too. I mean, why not? Okay, there's the salt bay thing. At least we did get this. Let's let's look at this steak. I'm thinking I'm thinking blue rare at best. If that oh man. Oh man, yeah, that's not even cooked, Jimmy. That's that that might as I don't understand how these people on TikTok, these cooks, stomach don't explode. You feel me? Like, I don't understand, like, how their stomachs is taking all this nasty, uncooked stuff, bro. Like, I'm, I'm a person, I get very, very scared of my food being uncooked. So I always overcook it. Like, I like everything well done, pretty much, because I'm always scared that it's undercooked. Like, I'm that type of person. So watching this is making my stomach just, like, go to my butt. You know, like, it's it's in my ass. Like, this is just disgusting, G. Like, ugh. As well, have just been right out of the package, Jim. Don't, oh, don't. Oh, it, my Jimmy. goodness. Oh, don't, don't wash it down with the buck fist. Bro, you can tell it's nasty. His face turning red and he just, come on, bro. Like, people would do anything for clout. That's crazy, G. Fast, is it buck fist to buck fist? Oh, it doesn't matter. Wow. That is a comically large glass, guys. All right. My goodness. Jimmy, Jimmy, how you survived that steak? That's gotta be a national mystery because that thing was basically still alive. Well guys, today will definitely go down in history. I'm not sure that we'll ever see any sort of cooking again that will ever rival that of Jimmy's. The things we saw today, I'm not sure have ever been done by humans before. And you know what? I don't think they'll ever be done again. Jimmy, if you ever see this video, I wish you the absolute best. You are truly a man amongst men. If you ever feel the desire to upgrade to a toaster, DM me, brother. I gotcha. If you enjoyed this video please yo man that's crazy if you guys like this video go ahead and hit that thumbs up button for me thank you guys for commenting sharing and subscribing and i'll see you guys next time peace